Saudi Arabia, a vast kingdom of sand, the sun shines with great power, endless dunes stretch to the horizon, here water is more precious than gold, life itself bows to the arid land, it is a nation born from the desert, yet it faces immense water challenges daily, a delicate balance of survival and progress, rain is a whisper in this land, rivers are mostly ancient memories, old wells hold stories of the past, but they cannot quench a modern thirst, the nation grows, its people multiply, cities expand, industries demand more, the need for water is ever-present, a constant pressing concern for all. Desalination plants dot the long coastlines, they are triumphs of human ingenuity, turning salty seawater into fresh sustenance. This vital process quenches the kingdom's thirst, but this modern miracle has a price, it consumes vast amounts of energy, and it creates a challenging byproduct, highly concentrated salt water known as brine. This brine poses a serious question, what is to be done with it? Returning it directly to the sea can harm fragile marine ecosystems. So, the kingdom sought other paths, new ideas for a sustainable future, a future where water is managed wisely, protecting both land and precious sea. The challenge was undeniably clear. Brine, the residue of desalination, millions of gallons produced each day. This salty liquid needed careful handling. Traditional methods felt increasingly inadequate. The call for innovation grew louder. A new approach was urgently required. To manage this ever-growing stream, scientists, engineers, and visionaries convened. They explored unconventional, bold solutions. Could the desert itself offer an answer? Its immense, empty spaces beckoned. Could the deep sands become a repository? This was a thought outside the box. A radical departure from old ways. The desert's heart might hold a secret. The idea began to take solid form to bury the excess salt water deep beneath the desert's formidable surface, not merely as a method of disposal, but perhaps as a form of storage, or even a catalyst for transformation. This was uncharted territory for them, a pioneering step into the unknown. Intensive research programs were launched, detailed studies meticulously conducted, potential risks were thoroughly assessed, the complex geology was carefully mapped, every possible impact was weighed, a daring experiment started to unfold, driven by necessity, guided by science, for the ultimate benefit of the nation. The ambitious plan was set in motion, a truly massive feat of engineering, burying salt water deep under the sand. This task demanded absolute precision. It called for exceptional skill and foresight. Engineers faced a challenge unlike any other. No one had attempted this before, not on this monumental kingdom-wide scale. Vast networks of pipelines were constructed, they stretched like arteries across the desert, carrying the concentrated saline solution. From the bustling coastal desalination plants to carefully selected remote inland locations, far from towns, cities, and communities, deep within the quiet, arid expanses, a silent flow beneath the burning sun, specialized injection wells were then drilled, reaching deep into the subterranean world, far below the precious freshwater aquifers, into specific, suitable geological formations, these layers had to be highly porous, yet securely contained by nature, to hold the salt water safely in place, preventing any unwanted upward migration. Millions of gallons commenced their descent, journeying into the sandy depths below, creating hidden reservoirs of salt water, a secret held by the ancient desert. This entire process was closely monitored, watched over by dedicated expert eyes. The desert now cradled a new secret, a salty burden, buried with great care. This was far more than simple burial, it was a sophisticated application of science. Geology formed the bedrock of the project, understanding the intricate layers of rock, knowing precisely how fluids behave underground. This knowledge was absolutely fundamental for the safety and success of this venture. Science illuminated the path forward. The chosen disposal sites were unique, selected for their specific characteristics. Porous sandstone formations were targeted, naturally trapped by impermeable cap rocks. These acted like vast natural tanks, preventing the dense salt water from spreading, protecting the limited vital groundwater, keeping the fresh and saline waters apart. Extensive monitoring systems were installed, sophisticated sensors placed deep in the earth, tracking any subtle movement of water, constantly checking salinity and pressure levels, ensuring the integrity of the containment. A continuous stream of data flowed to the vigilant scientists on the surface, analyzing every signal from below. The primary goal was always safe storage, averting any risk of contamination to the scarce freshwater resources above or to the fragile desert ecosystem itself. It was, and remains, a delicate balance.
between groundbreaking innovation and environmental care. Scientific principles guided every decision, every action taken in this endeavor. Section 5. Unexpected Oasis. The Stunning Transformation. Many years passed, the project progressed, the buried saltwater remained contained below. Then, keen observers noticed subtle changes. Something unexpected was happening on the desert surface directly above, near the zones of deep injection. Nature often holds surprising responses. This was one such intriguing moment. The ground surface registered a slight cooling, noticeable in these specific localized areas. The deeply buried water, though not cold, was significantly cooler than the scorching sand. This temperature difference had an effect, it gently reduced ambient surface heat, a small yet scientifically notable shift. The desert floor felt a subtle chill. Even more astonishing were the plants. Hardy, native desert vegetation began to appear, or to flourish more in patches previously stark and barren. Was it due to increased soil moisture? Perhaps condensation from the cooler ground? Scientists were captivated by this mystery. New research avenues opened up. It appeared the buried salt water was not merely an inert hidden mass. It was interacting in subtle ways with the immediate environment far above, creating unique localized microclimates. An unforeseen gentle touch of green, an unexpected oasis, however small, born from the depths of buried salt. Section 6. A ripple effect, environmental impacts good and bad. The most significant positive impact was felt in the nearby marine environment. Less brine was discharged into the Gulf. This directly helped protect vital coral reefs and other sensitive coastal marine life. It was a considerable victory for the sea, a burden lifted from fragile ecosystems. The ocean breathed a little easier. The observed reduction in surface temperature, even if confined to small specific zones, was a curious and welcome side benefit. In a climate known for its intense heat, every small degree of cooling offers relief. It demonstrated an interesting thermal link between the deep earth and the surface, a testament to interconnected systems. Of course, potential concerns always exist. What if undetected leaks were to occur? Could the concentrated saltwater seep upwards, potentially contaminating freshwater aquifers or causing salinization of the topsoil? Constant, unwavering vigilance is paramount this inherent risk must be managed through robust monitoring and quick response. The project itself also consumed energy to pump the voluminous brine inland. This process had its own carbon footprint. This cost was carefully weighed against the substantial benefits of marine protection and the invaluable innovative knowledge gained. It represented a complex environmental trade-off, a calculation of risks and rewards. Section 7. Beyond the Sands Global Implications for Water Scarcity Saudi Arabia's bold experiment with brine offers lessons for the world. Many nations grapple with water scarcity. Increasingly, they depend on desalination technology, producing significant volumes of brine. This is a shared global challenge. Solutions in one desert can inspire others. Could this technique be adapted for other arid regions? Consider Australia, North Africa, or the Americas. Each location presents unique challenges. But the principle might hold true. Safe subterranean storage could be viable. This initiative sparks fresh thinking about managing industrial byproducts, turning waste into something less harmful or even useful. Innovation in arid lands is essential for survival. It is essential for human survival and community flourishing. This method is not a singular solution. It won't solve all water woes instantly, but it's a valuable tool in the global toolkit to manage water resources sustainably and protect our planet, a testament to human ingenuity. Section 8. The Future of Water, Innovation and Sustainability The remarkable story of buried saltwater is fundamentally a narrative of innovation. It shows humanity facing a daunting problem with courage, creativity, and a bold solution. Saudi Arabia embraced a calculated risk, and in doing so, learned valuable lessons. Sustainability forms the critical next chapter. Can this deep injection process be maintained effectively and safely for decades to come? The quest for enduring solutions continues. Because fundamentally, water is life itself. Its stewardship is our shared responsibility.